This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. This is another edition of the Awesome Chat, our interview series for Awesome Cast at theawesomecast.net. Uh, talking to some great people, uh, great companies, uh, people doing cool things around Pittsburgh and abroad, and uh, continuing our series talking with some uh, some people that participated in Startup Weekend, Women's Edition from a few months back. I've had the opportunity to uh, do the live streaming for that. It was really get, great to, to see these businesses uh, present and see, see who the winners were. And we're catching up with one, another one today with Project Impact, but first, please go check out AwesomeCast.net. Check out all the past interviews for the Awesome Chat and our regular show where we talk about all the news and updates from people using it in the area. And, uh, and, and of course, look for the Awesome Chat on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, iHeartRadio, Google Play, uh, podcasting, all those kinds of places. And uh, and check out the back catalog, of course. We've, we're almost a year in on doing these interviews, and we got a lot of great, great uh, uh, discussions that we've had over the year. And I have with me today anna lawrence of project impact you can check them out at projectimpactpgh.co how you doing today great thanks for having me on the show mike awesome thanks for thanks for being on with us first, first let us know what is project impact okay so project impact is a company that myself and uh five other teammates founded during women's startup weekend pittsburgh this march and Project Impact's mission is to make volunteering and interacting with your community more attainable in today's digital age. So we want to provide tools that are going to help um, nonprofits reach out to and connect with people in the community that want to get involved and then help those people that want to get involved link up with uh, nonprofit opportunities where they can find new opportunities to volunteer. Uh, they can find community organizations that they want to be a part of and they can get involved. Awesome, awesome, and you got a really cool demo on your site uh, that you can uh, actually uh, get into the app and kind of see how it's going to work. Uh, can you can you step us a little bit th- uh, through that process? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so we have linked on our website the prototype that we created during Startup Weekend. So um, we have been working on it since, but everything that you'll see on the website is right now what we created during those two days in Startup Weekend. Um, and I know we're going to get into Startup Weekend a little bit more here, so I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But in the prototype, what you'll see is our concept for our initial app. And we have two groups of users that we're targeting with this app. The first group is going to be what we call our givers. And those are the people that have the time to volunteer. They have the time to give and they're looking for opportunities to get connected. And then the second group is who we call our planners. And the planners are the ones that are downloading the app, posting opportunities, and then using the app to reach out to and coordinate with their volunteers. Um, So the features that we have for the givers are the ability to search for um, volunteer activities, and they can search by location. They can narrow it down by type of activity or type of commitment or date of activity. Um, And then once they sign up, they're put directly in touch with the planner of the event. Um, So one thing that we all noticed, my team and I, when we volunteer for events in the community, we just noticed that there was a lot of back and forth uh, communication that was happening. And usually this communication was happening via email or phone calls. There was frequently a little bit of a lag uh, between the person planning the event and the person that wanted to come volunteer. Um, And we thought that we could make this better and easier for both the nonprofit and for the volunteer. So this app is kind of the first Uh, stab at making that interaction easier so that it lowers the barrier of people who are new to town or who are looking for new opportunities and they want to get involved and they don't know where to start. So they'll download our app and uh, get launched straight into a volunteer opportunity. Awesome. Awesome. So how are you looking to to, uh, do kind of the discovery, I guess, like uh, trying to get uh, volunteers' attention that this is a resource? Sure. So there's a couple of sites that already exist out there, um, Volunteer Match, Pittsburgh Cares, uh, and they list out opportunities with nonprofits. But what we noticed is that the listing is where it 
where it typically comes to a close. So once you find an opportunity that you're interested in, um, you email the coordinator or you get an email address for the coordinator, and then it's up to you to continue that conversation. So we want to essentially reach out to a couple of nonprofits to begin with to, in order to get some events listed on, on our app. And we're probably going to start with kind of a beta version, which is on a website or even via an email list. Um, and we'll get a couple of partner organizations and um, start recruiting people in the community that are interested in volunteering through social media, um, through our own contacts and through the volunteers list. And then we'll pilot our idea and um, start to onboard new users, get some customer feedback, which is critical because if this app isn't useful and they're not wanting to use it. We don't want to make a, a process more complicated than it has to be. So uh, we're going to hope to get some new nonprofits and users onboarded and get feedback and then keep going from there. Awesome. And of course, this is a, this is an idea that was a, a born out of uh, a Startup Weekend uh, Women's Edition from a few months ago. Uh, can you tell me a little about, about well, first, how did you come across uh, Startup Weekend? It's a big series. There's It seems like there's some, like every weekend somewhere in the world at this point. Uh, uh, How did you come across it? Sure. So I was aware that this event series took place in various cities across the U.S. and the world, like you mentioned. Um, but of this particular weekend, my company actually sponsored the event. I work for a local tech company, Branding Brand. Um, that's my full-time job. And uh, they sponsored the event and sent a number of their employees to the event. And so we had a great time. Um, a couple of us pitched ideas, and uh, we ended up getting to compete with, and uh and work with a lot of really talented women in the community. Awesome, awesome. And uh, what, would you, what do you think of the experience so uh, you know overall? I loved it. It was the whole weekend. I think I was operating on this like energy high because everything is so fast paced, and you really are just rapidly prototyping on your idea throughout the weekend. So if if there are those of you out there that aren't as familiar with the event, um, the concept is that everybody comes to the weekend without a business idea or a business plan or, or any preparation done in advance. And then uh, people that are interested in pitching ideas will present their ideas and they get 60 seconds to basically pitch their idea to the group. Um, everybody votes on the ideas, you narrow it down, and then the rest of the weekend is spent working on that business. So it's really a high energy um, intense, but extremely fun and eye-opening experience. I think I learned a lot about um, what it takes to get something off the ground. And the other women there and the mentors that we collaborated with I had great expertise and um, a lot of great insight into the legal aspect and the, um, the financial aspect and competitive assessments and how to, how to create those prototypes and get customer feedback early in the process. So it was a great learning experience. And this is the the third startup weekend I've attended, at least partially. Uh, I've been a part of the Civic uh, uh, weekend, and uh, I saw the final pitches on another uh, startup weekend. I think in between these events, um, there is definitely there was definitely a different vibe to this. I don't know if it's because of women's huh. edition. I don't know what it was. Uh, uh, you know, discussed uh, for last week's edition with Go Jane Go about like the the everybody coming up and 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 and. While the judges were away and 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 be coming on the microphone, and say what did you what did you get out of the weekend? Um, there was this amazing camaraderie. I don't know because it was a women's thing. What do you think is mm -hmm. the, that thing that kind of brought everybody together over that weekend? It was incredibly supportive. I mean, in we were inherently competing each startup against each other, but everybody was collaborating. Um, for instance, I would say nine out of out of. 12 of the groups sent out surveys throughout the weekend and asked the other women to participate in them to give feedback on ideas. Um, that we went over and asked other groups for feedback on our ideas and vice versa. So I think it was, it was just an atmosphere of a lot of smart, motivated people coming together and wanting to get a lot out of the, the weekend, not just necessarily to start a business on their own, but just to get good contacts and to learn what it's all about and to have fun. Awesome. And of course, I, I was also really kind of blown away at uh, the I, the final ideas that were presented. Um, in the end, like it didn't seem like there was 
much of a bad idea out there, right? Uh, definitely some stiff competition that I really didn't know where they were going to go for the, for the winners on this. Uh, uh, what do you think about uh, being up against that? And, and of course, you know, being, being one of the finalists on this one. Well, we were really honored to be chosen out of such a, an amazing field. Uh, there were a couple other presentations that just blew me out of the water. Um, some of the business plans and the research that these women had put into place throughout the weekend were amazing. Um, I think you mentioned having talked with Joe Jane, jo- with Go Jane Go, um, and their their pricing strategy, their scaling plan was amazing. It was inspirational to see these other women up there presenting. Um, so I think that overall throughout the weekend, a lot of great ideas were passed around. There were a lot of really cool companies coming out of the weekend. So I'm excited to hear what happens with the rest of the, the finishers. Was it, I, was it go that like, like I, I remember a comment uh, specifically after one of them where it says this, this business plan looks like something that's like you, you would find on the floor at Harvard business school or something like that. Yeah, right? It was their <laughs> business plan. Yeah. And one of the other, um, I can't remember exactly which one this was, but I know one of the other groups presented and said that they actually already had a paying customer sign up for their service. Oh, yeah. So that just gives you an idea of what can be accomplished in one weekend if you kind of set your mind to it. And there's always this, uh, I've been really impressed. And one thing I try to show off with this show is is that entrepreneurial startup uh, uh, spirit that is here in Pittsburgh, right? Uh, you know, that you don't have to go to San Francisco or New York necessarily to do something like this. Um, do, are you seeing that as you're growing uh, again out from the startup weekend? Um, um, how's that vibe kind of as you guys are developing the idea? It's great. We've gotten a lot of support from other people in the community. We chatted with Alpha Lab, um, as one of our prizes, we got the invitation to actually interview with Alpha Lab. Um, we, opted not to interview this season just because the interview was maybe three days or a week after startup week in itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but we did defer that to the fall and we got to talk with some of the, uh, the people over there and they were really supportive. We've also been working with one of the startup companies coming out of last year's startup weekend as well. Um, cause we have a similar idea and a kind of similar sort of trajectory as them. And so we've gotten some good mentoring, um, from them and hope to be able to work with them. So it's really kind of opened up my eyes to all of the opportunities that are available here in Pittsburgh for startups and the community is huge. It's, it's great. It's awesome. So, how have things been going since Startup Weekend? Obviously, your 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 the, the the ideas is going forward. You have some mock ups. You said you're working on some stuff. Uh, hopefully, we'll see very very soon. Um, uh, well, how's that process been since the mad rush weekend of a Startup Weekend? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's always kind of like a, a hurry up and then slow down right after these Startup Weekends. Mm-hmm. I know the Sunday evening after the award ceremony, I was already emailing the organizers of the event asking about when we could redeem our prizes and when we'd find out more information about the follow-up. Um, and so they responded and just kind of were like, we will do the follow-up. Um, you know, it will happen very soon, but not tonight. So it's kind of a, a shock to your system after you've been rushing all weekend to slow down and then maintain some forward momentum. But we've been meeting um, a couple times a week and we have our most of our team has opted to stay on and keep working with the project. Um, So we're working on kind of a phase one where we're going to get this off the ground and open up a sign-up form on our website where potentially interested volunteers can sign up to be notified of events. Um, And we've talked with a couple of local nonprofits, um, for instance, the Pittsburgh Food Bank and Tree Pittsburgh and a couple others about their need and where we could start to be of service the earliest um, and came up with a couple good ideas for pilot projects there. Um, So I think we're going to start by trying to fill this need between the the nonprofit organizations that need volunteers, particularly those that need last minute uh, volunteers to fill in. And by last minute, we mean basically a week to two in advance when you've made the commitment that you're going to have the event and now you need to fill it. Um, And then our volunteers who are not already committed to an organization, they're looking for a way to get involved. And so frequently they're the ones who are thinking, Hey, this weekend or next weekend, I have some free time. What can I do? Um, so we hope to fill that gap first with our kind of email community, um, have them signing up on our website and then rolling out the app, um, in a second phase. 
Awesome, awesome. It's really interesting also seeing that startup community attacking these nonprofit and needs based things. Um, these different angles. I know we see a lot of it up there at Work Hard Pittsburgh. Uh, a lot of great companies uh, uh, trying to activate people. It seems in these fashions. Um, uh, for one, two food rescue, who we've had talked about on this show, and we've seen it at TEDx and everything before. Um, you know, it, it, you know, there's a very data driven city now with the you know the last several years with our our, our newer mayor. Um, you know, I, can you speak a little bit of that and then kind of fill in that need a little bit? Sure. So as I started to learn. Uh, as the follow-up to this weekend, there are a lot of opportunities for social ventures in Pittsburgh. And um, some of the, so Alpha Lab, they do have an opportunity for nonprofit startups um, that's structured a little bit differently from their for-profit startups, as I understand it. Uh, additionally, there are foundations that are supporting for-profit social enterprises. And there are challenges and competitions geared around getting those companies the resources that they need. Um, the Uprise Challenge, um, Steel City Code Fest are a number of these examples of where you can get uh, resources like funding and uh, development work and all that kind of stuff if you're a for-profit company that's trying to make a difference in the community. So I think Pittsburgh is a very insular and supportive community, not just in the startup world, but kind of in general. I think people get really excited about new ventures here, whether it's a new restaurant or a new store opening. And so that's no different with the startup community. I think there are a lot of organizations um, here that want to back companies that are going to give back to the community. So that's, I my eyes have been open to that since Startup Weekend. And there's a lot of great opportunities, both for us and for other companies in the same vein. Awesome. So if people want to follow how, how you guys are doing, uh, look for that launch, look up for everything that you talked about here. Where can they find you online? Uh, so we are on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, our Instagram and Twitter handles are ImpactPGH. Uh, online, as you mentioned, we're at projectimpactpgh.co. And um, you can always find us there, look us up, follow us, and we'll keep you posted on what's coming. All right. Thank you so much, Anna, for joining us. Go check them out. Project In Impact, a really cool uh, uh, new thing uh, to activate everybody. And check out everything. The videos online for uh, Startup Weekend Women's Edition. You can check out all the great pitches, including theirs, um, and everything else. And, uh, and of course, check out all the great interviews we got over at awesomecast.net. And uh, please subscribe on iTunes. Check out the Patreon for Awesome Cast um, if you want to support that sh the show that way. Or share this or any of the interviews that you enjoy and just show up off a little bit of what Pittsburgh is doing. Thank you thank you so much to my awesome guest Anna Lawrence from Project Impact. Thank you again for joining me. Thanks Mike. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you you have been our off awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia dot com.